rectangle word problem. Um, these are going to look something like this. The length of a rectangle. you actually solve a problem like this. For example, let's say you're planting a garden, right? And you need to build a fence, and you know something about the length of one side of your garden, right? And you know something about the width, and you know the area of the garden, and you need to figure out, okay, how much fencing do I need to go around the perimeter of oh, this garden? I got it. I got or let's it. say you have some sort of a picture frame. Right? And you know something about the, the dimensions of the picture, and you for some reason know the area of that picture, but you need to figure out what is the size wait, picture wait, frame that you need to purchase. Need. Okay, what do you think the first step is? Um, do I need, do I need to like write out the thing? So it's like, would it be 27M squared plus 2M plus 3? It's a good guess. Good guess. What does M squared mean in this problem? Area. <coughs> square meters, right? So m squared is square meters. The way that I would start to solve this is to draw a diagram. Because I think it will make the, the meaning of this a little bit more clear. Here's our rectangle. The length is three more than twice the width. Can you turn that into a mathematical expression? Yeah, I can. Okay, go ahead. So the length could be 3 W plus 3. Close. It's or 3 W plus 3. Uh-huh. Good. So the length is 3 more than twice the width. Right? You guys have done problems sort of like this, but probably not in a while, so this is going to be something... You may want to review in your notes or something if it, if it doesn't come back to you right away. When we see three more than, we talked about writing that over to the right-hand side. Right? Same thing with less than. If it said like five less than, we would write minus five off to the right-hand side. And then twice the width is the W. And so then the other side is just W. That's the width. The key, I think, if with drawing a diagram, is it makes this into just one, um, just one equation. We could also have solved this as a system of equations. Totally legitimate way to solve this. We could have said, okay, length equals two w plus three, and then we could have written the second equation, which I'm not going to write yet. But we, by doing it this way drawing a diagram and just illustrating the length, we've eliminated the variable L. And that's what you want to try to do when you set up these problems. I think it's a little bit more efficient. It's just try to get everything in terms of one of the dimensions. So just W. Okay? We're not going to use L to solve these. Okay, the area is 27 meters squared. We're going to just ignore our units for now, so 27. Can you write now a mathematical equation with this information? Uh, yes. So first, tell me what formula you're going to use. Yeah. W times L equals Nice. Yeah. So the area is the length times the width, right? And so would you do um, like the distributive property of uh -huh. W? So here's my width. Multiply that times my length equals my area. Width times 
length equals area. But again, we're not really using the variable L here. Because the length I already have in terms of W. Area equals length times width. You, I, maybe usually you say it length times width, but same thing as width times length. We can flip it around. So the area equals the width times the length. Now we have an equation that we can turn into a quadratic by distributing this W. W times 2W is 2W squared. W times 3 is 3W. Now we have some options. We want to try to solve this for W. What's one way you know to solve a quadratic equation? Yeah. The quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. What's another way you know Factoring. you could use to solve a quadratic equation? Factoring. What's a third way that I told you you would never use again? Yeah? Completing the square. Completing the square. So you could use any of those. Completing the square, quadratic formula, factoring. Generally, the easiest one to do is factoring, if you can. Okay. So let's get this equal to 0. 2w squared plus 3w minus 27 equals 0, right, by subtracting 27 from both sides. And then, if I wanted to factor this, I'd have to use Gary's terrific, Gary's terrific trick. Or you can use the quadratic formula. Um, let's use Gary's terrific trick for now, just because we haven't done it in a while, and it'd be good to review it. But on your homework, it doesn't really matter. So 2 times 27 is negative 54. And then you factor the negative 54 that add up to positive 3. Um, so let's try to think. It looks like 6 <coughs> times something is going to be 54. 6 times 9? Yeah. Six. Those are 3 so apart. Negative 6 and 9. Yeah, so negative 6 and positive 9. Those multiply to give negative 54, and they add up to positive 3. Remember, with Gary's terrific trick, these are not the terms in my factors, right? Because I got them by multiplying A and C together. This is just a procedure that we're doing to make it easier to factor. So what I do now is I rewrite my equation as minus 6w and plus 9w. This equals this, right? And rewriting it like this is going to make it simpler to factor. So I can factor this by grouping. I'm going to look at the first two terms. Let's rewrite this over here. So 2w squared minus 6w plus 9w minus 27. We can look at the first two terms and then look at the second two terms. What can I factor out of these first two terms? 2. two W. What's left here? One. Just one W. Minus three. <laughs> and then three. Three? Yes. Gary wanted to say three. Yes. Nine W minus twenty-seven. What can I factor out of that? Nine. Nine. Leaving W minus three. Factor out this blob. So W minus three. 2w plus 9. Okay, this all equals 0. I haven't been writing it, but I probably should have. Let's go back and write. So this equals 0. This equals 0. This equals 0. So if this equals 0, that means that either this factor equals 0 or this factor equals 0. I know I'm going backwards, but in your notes you should just be going down the page. So either w minus 3 equals 0, or 2w plus 9 equals 0. If w minus 3 is 0, then w is 3. If 2w plus 9 is 0, then w 
is negative 9 halves. I think it's the mm -hmm. 3. <laughs> yeah, now we have to go back to our problem. Right, because we have two answers. Let's see what they were looking for. They're looking for the dimensions of a rectangle. Which one of these would make more sense for the width of a rectangle? Three. 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 Why? Because, because it's, it's a whole number. It's a because positive it's number, positive, right? You can't have a negative length. It seems silly to have a negative length because for a rectangle. You can't have a negative length. Then you should yeah, I don't think that I could draw that rectangle. <laughs> right? Be like trying to draw a negative side. So. Three is going to be the answer that makes sense. Are we done? No. No, because they said the dimensions. So we know the width is three meters because they originally gave us our unit of meters squared. And then the length is going to be three plus nine. Nine. Yeah. two times three Six. plus three, right? Nine. So two times three plus three, which is nine meters. Three times nine is 27, so. Yeah, good, that's a really quick check you can do. Three times nine is 27, so that does check out. Well, you also have to add the end to the end, otherwise it doesn't make the That's right, we need to add our meters, our unit. So that's it. We turned a word problem into a quadratic found the length of a rectangle. Now we know how much fencing we need to buy at the store, right? Or we know how big our picture frame. That would Can't be a pretty big just picture frame. Get a ruler? You need to get a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a little too long for you. So this is this is a more general problem, right? This is not actually asking about fencing. I'm just trying to give you examples mm -hmm. of when would you know about rectangles and want to care about the area and the length and the width and all that sort of thing. And all of these types of problems can be solved with this sort of basic method. Absolutely. Yeah. Should we write the answer as like the piece? Um, for these, I'm fine if you just write it like this. A lot of teachers, they're like, if it's a word problem, write it as a sentence or else it's wrong. Well, this is in words, so I think it's fine. Yeah. It's very clear what that means to me. If you just wrote three, I probably wouldn't give you or if you wrote three and nine, I wouldn't give you credit. Partly because I want you to make sure you know which is the width and which is the length. All right. Great questions. Hopefully Lila and Gideon will help.